Well, you may remember him from his dark memoir, Running with Scissors, which spent four consecutive years, years on the New York, um, best, uh, New York Times bestseller list. Uh, Augustine Burroughs is mixing things up with his latest book. This is how his take on self-help, which is, quite frankly, anything but typical advice. <laughs> You'll find out a little bit more about that because we are honored to have him with us on the show this morning. Welcome. Hi. It's good to have you here. Thanks for having me. Um, I, I love your, your dry humor and, uh, dare I say, dark humor, <laughs> <Thank> <laughs> particularly in this book, because mm -hmm. you talk about things that, quite frankly, we all have a pity party about sometimes, mm -hmm. whether it's, you know, our weight or just kind of the end, the end days or, you know, you name it. Mm -hmm. And you're kind of like, get over it. Right. Uh, yeah, I wanted to, um, I mean, I've, I've had a, it's been transforming for me to be an author and get out there and meet people, you know, and I have um, been asked the same question over and over everywhere, which is, how did you survive, you know, fill in the blank. Right. And I've spent the last, you know, 10 years of my career telling people sort of what I've gone through, and I wanted to tell people how. How did I get through, you know, all these things? And it's sort of a slap in the Facebook. It's not a... Uh, you know, a coddling book. It yeah, you're not going to warm fuzzy me and just kind of mm -mm. like rock me back and forth and gently, you know, stroke my hair and say, right. it'll be okay, Stephanie. No, I'm saying it may <laughs> not be okay. You better get busy. Get over it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, let's talk about some of the, the major themes that, and, sure. and maybe with some specificity about um, mm -hmm. how you were able to kind of convey that message and why that sort of message works for you. Well, I think that, um, you know, the book is based around how I myself have you know, survived all that. I mean, I had, a, I had a crazy childhood, like I talked about, running with scissors, and I was an ad adult alcoholic. But as a kid, you know, I didn't have, um, I didn't have parents, so I couldn't, I couldn't ask anybody for advice. And when I had a, a problem, there was no one to turn for guidance. I had to figure it out myself. Mm -hmm. And the only way that you can figure this sort of thing out yourself is by being brutally honest with yourself. So that's really what the book is. It sort of shows you um, how you can be completely brutally honest even though you may think you already are and it goes through certain things you know like confidence is one of the topics I talk about people are always seeking to be more confident but if you think about it well what is confidence can you go to the doctor and get your blood confidence level checked <laughs> Eat more I actually avocados. did last week, and it was it was mediocre at best. Fewer pine nuts. You know, <laughs> confidence isn't real. It's something that the observer identifies. It's a quality in you that they see, but for you, the the, the experience of confidence is really being focused on what you're actually doing. Mm -hmm. And so it's it's full of things I've learned the hard way through making tons and tons and tons of mistakes um, that have really really worked for me. And it. It looks at a lot of familiar problems that everybody has in a different way. I mean, I don't have a degree in psychology. I don't even have a fourth grade education, but I have street smarts and I've survived a lot. So it's a very practical sort of nuts and bolts guide. Um, you know, you talked a little bit about um, the confidence thing. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> a lot of times that, that has to do with, and as you know, we talk about this on the show, you know, whether you perceive yourself as thin or fat or, you know, when, when what this, you know, you'll, you'll hear people, oh, what's the psychology behind, you know, mm -hmm. what's going through your mind and what's going into your mouth and you kind of flip that a little bit. <laughs> yeah, you know, I think, I mean, I've, I've been guilty of this many times in my life, which is, um, I think I, I, I will act as though I want something, you know, because I've convinced myself that I want it, and yet I'll have trouble, you know, a achieving that goal. And it comes down often to, do I really want it, or do I want to want it? Right. You know? I, I actually got that. Do you know what I mean? I do. <laughs> yeah. I, I was talking to a young student. Do you student. want to want it? Do you it? want to be the person that wants it? Right. In other words, I met a, I met a student recently and she was a, uh, in law school because her parents wanted her to go to the same law school that they did and she was kind of angry and she was talking to me about I've got scheduling problems you know I don't know how to schedule my time and I'm in law school and I thought every time she mentioned law school it was like whoa and it was like well I would have scheduling problems in law school too if I hated being in law school as much <laughs> as you clearly do so sometimes you've got to just break through the thing you think is the problem to get to the real real problem how do you think Hello. it will be received? Obviously, people that know you know your style, mm -hmm. but how do you think this will be received in the world of self-help when it is so polar opposite of everything else that's so, you know, let's just embrace, let's share, let's, share, let's talk about our feelings. My truth, your truth. Yeah. Um, how do you think it's, the, the world is going to receive it in, in, in that arena? You know, it's very, very, very 
straightforward and honest and sort of plain talking in that sense. It's a little bit in your face, because I am. Um, it's not funny, you know, as funny as the other books. And so far, it's been received, I mean, I'm on, in the middle of a book tour, you know, so I've and had glad, some feedback. And we're glad you are. <laughs> Thank you. And so far, the feedback I've had, you know, on Facebook and Twitter has been really, people have been surprised by it, but they've, um, they've loved it. I think it's refreshing. Mm -hmm. I think it's a refreshing so. new approach to taking a really close look at who you are and what you think <laughs> you believe about yourself. Right. So, I wish you the best of luck. Thank you. I wish you could just come every day and just... Come every day and hang out and it smells great in here. <laughs> I could just come here and smell. <laughs> it's the pesto, it's the peaches, it's you know the what? sniff the studio diet. Yes, absolutely. But you can meet him tonight at a book signing and a discussion. He's going to be at Changing Hands Bookstore in Tempe. I believe that's uh, McClintock and Guadalupe, if I'm not Don't mistaken. Don't even look at me. <laughs> uh, you can look at me. It's McClintock and Guadalupe, the address right there on your screen. And we're also going to have a link on SonoranLiving.com. So make sure you make your way out there and uh, tell him we sent you. <laughs>